Sergei Alexandrovich Kovalev is a Russian professional boxer in the light heavyweight category. Master of sports of international class. Champion of Russia among amateurs. Military world champion. WBA Super. IBF. WBO light heavyweight champion. Boxer of the year by the ring. WBO. Sports Illustrated. USA Today. Founder of the promotional company Crusher Promotion. Sergei was born in a small town called Kapez, which few people have heard of. It is located in the Chelyabinsk region, Russia. While still a schoolboy, Sergei enrolled in the sports section. By the age of 11, having made a completely conscious decision, the boy devoted all his free time to boxing. The second home for the future champion was a private gym, where he was trained by Novikov Sergei Vladimirovich. The first duel in the professional ring, against an athlete from America, Daniel Chavez, brought victory by knockout. The next eight outings under the spotlights also brought victories in the same way. In total, Sergei had 40 fights in the professional ring, of which 35 won victories, 29 won by knockout. Let's remember the top 10 best knockouts from Sergei Kovalev. In September 2012, Sergei Kovalev fought a strong American Lionel Thompson. It was far from the first fight in the United States and there were no serious titles at stake. But why is this fight so important for Sergei's career? The fact is that at that time none of the elite promoters wanted to sign a contract with Crusher. The light heavyweight category was in decline, and the fighter himself was unknown. And the only company that paid attention to our fighter was Main Events, led by Kathy Duva. It was a great chance for Sergei. A bright victory remained a condition for signing the agreement, and Kovalev more than adequately coped with this task. He simply destroyed Thompson in less than three rounds. Already in the next fight after signing a contract with main events, Sergei met with the former WBA title holder Spaniard Gabriel Campillo. In fact, it was the first big test for the Russian. However, Campillo gave Sergei no more difficulties than the same Thompson. In the third round, Kovalev literally crushed the enemy. The Russian very clearly confirmed his nickname, The Crusher. It was his application for a future championship fight. On June 14, 2013, Sergei Kovalev entered the ring against Cornelius White in the fight for the title of mandatory challenger according to the IBF version. Kovalev had a noticeable advantage in the first two rounds, and in the third, after three knockdowns of White, the referee stopped the fight, fixing the victory of the Russian boxer by technical knockout. After the fight, White said, Kovalev's punching power is incredible. I have never experienced anything like this, although I have fought heavyweights and even heavyweights. His fists are not even made of stone, but rather of steel. 2013 was a really breakthrough year for Kovalev. In August, he first claimed the WBO world title held by Britain Nathan Cleverly. Sergei acted ruthlessly. His hard, multi-hitting style, combined with a high pace, did not allow the champion to prove himself for a minute. The challenger decided to bet on a quick finish, and it worked. In the fourth round, the referee stopped the beating and recorded Kovalev's victory by technical knockout. So Sergei earned his first championship belt. At the end of 2013, Sergei made his first title defense against Ukrainian Ismail Silik. At that time, Ismail was not a broken fighter and showed quite high hopes. However, Kovalev's quick and devastating victory destroyed Silic's later career. The denouement came in the second round. Sergei sent the enemy into a heavy knockdown with a right straight forward. Then he scored a knockout with a right-left crown combination. After this victory, Sergei Kovalev finally entrenched himself in the minds of the audience as a merciless destroyer. On March 29, 2014, Sergei met with the undefeated American Cedric Agnew. In the second round, Kovalev knocked down the American, and then sent in the sixth round. In the seventh round, with a blow to the liver, Sergei knocked out his opponent and defended his WBO champion title for the second time. March 14, 2015 Sergei Kovalev met with the ex-champion from Canada Jean Pascal. At the very end of the seventh round, Kovalev delivered an accurate blow to Pascal's head. Under the influence of this blow, Jean began the eighth round, at the beginning of which Sergei performed a powerful series of accurate blows to the head. Standing at the ropes, Pascal ceased not only to respond to blows, but also to defend himself. Concerned about the health of the shocked challenger, the referee stopped the fight. July 25, 2015 met with the mandatory contender for the IBF title Frenchman Najib Mohamedi. In the second round, Kovalev sent Mohamedi to the floor of the ring, 
but the Frenchman managed to get up. In the third round, Kovala began knocked down the challenger. Mohamedy didn't get up before the end of the referee's count. Kovalev won by knockout. In 2017, Kovalev's peak form was left behind, but despite this, Sergei managed to win a number of victories that supplemented his career with important trophies. In a fight with Vyacheslav Shabransky, the Russian became a two-time world champion, returning one of his WBO titles. Sergei very quickly dealt with the opponent, already in the second round the referee was forced to stop this beating. The fight between Sergei Kovalev and Anthony Yard took place on August 24, 2019 at the Tractor Arena in Chelyabinsk. For Kovalev, it was a mandatory defense of the WBO title. The fight turned out to be very spectacular and competitive. At the end of the 10th round, Kovalev shook Yard hard. In the 11th round, Kovalev sent Yard to a heavy knockout with a left hand. If you like the video, put like and subscribe to our channel about fighters, the crushers. Write comments and watch our other releases in end screens and tips. Support the new channel, your activity is very important to us. Thank you for watching.